Radiographic examination is the most used NDT methods of ASME, Boiler and Pressure Vessel Code, Section 5. Article 2 of Section 5 describes the rules that are to be followed in radiographic examination. Here is a request for you. Please subscribe the channel for updates. Please write your reviews and comments. I also request you to visit the Facebook page and Telegram channel connected to this YouTube channel for more contents. The website related to this channel is also given in the description of this video. Welcome to Module 6 Part 2 of APA 570 Study Gate Series. As per the BOK of APA 570 Piping Inspector Exam, the inspector should be familiar with and understand the scope of Article 2 and general requirements. The rules for radiography as typically applied on both welded team, welded seams such as but are not limited to required marking, type, selection, number and placement of IQAs, allowable density and density ranges, control of backscatter radiation and records. Those points which contains char need to be noted as they are mandatory requirements as per the code. The condition of shawl can be seen in all SME codes. As those mandatory requirements are to be complied during the execution of job by an API 570 piping inspector, this is important from the examination point of view and on job requirement point of view. Underline shawl in your code book and revise it. Scope of Article 2 The radiographic method described in this article is for the radiographic examination of materials including castings and wells. Certain product specific, technique specific and application specific requirements are also there in other appendices in Section 5. But Article 2 is dealing with radiographic examination of materials including castings and wells. From APA 570 exam point of view only, Article 1 is to be referred as per BOK of knowledge of APA 570 piping inspector exam. Close T221 procedure requirements. The radiography examination shall be performed in accordance with a written procedure. Each procedure shall include at least the following information. Material type and thickness range. Isotope or maximum X-ray voltage used. Capital D source to object distance. Small d distance from source side of object to film. And focal size F. And further, film brand and designation and screens used are also the minimum procedure requirements as per section 5. The material type. Material may be of CS, SS, costings, etc. Thickness ranges of the materials that are to be radiographed are to be mentioned in the procedure. Isotope may be iridium 192 or selenium 75 or cobalt 60. X-ray voltage used will be according to material thickness. Capital D and small d will be according to the form of material. For example, for a 2 inch nominal bore and 6 inch nominal bore, diameter pipe will have different capital D and small d. For pipe and plate also, it will be different. F. The focal size of isotope and X ray generator has to be identified and mentioned in procedure. Film brand and designation also has to be mentioned. For example, Kodak T200, Aqua D7, or Aqua D5, likewise. Intensifying screens usage shall be used as per the procedure only. All these are discussed in detail. Procedure demonstration for density and IQ requirements are required. Procedure de demonstration can be done on production or technique radiographs. The points to be noted are production and technique radiographs. Both are acceptable for procedure demonstration. After the procedure demonstration is done, it is to be recorded. A sample procedure demonstration table is given here. All the information that is necessary as per T221 is mentioned here.
a new procedure demonstration is needed whenever we change any of the parameters as mentioned in 221. This is the table given is not a mandatory requirement, but this is done as a uh, as to keep a record of uh, procedure demonstration. T222 surface preparation materials including castings. Surface preparation as per the referencing core requirement are to be done. Wells. The weld ripples or weld surface irregularities on both the inside where it is accessible and outside shall be removed by any suitable process to such a degree that the images of surface irregularities cannot mask or be confused with the image of any discontinuity on the resulting radiograph. The finished surface of all butt welded joints may be flush with the base material or may have reasonably uniform crowns with reinforcement not to exceed that specified in the referencing code section. We will try to analyze the points mentioned in surface preparation by which process weld ripples shall be removed. It is mentioned as by a suitable process. It is also mentioned that inside and outside well ripples shall be removed. If inside is inaccessible, what we have to do? It is mentioned that were accessible, it is to be removed. To what degree it is to be removed? It is to be removed such that the surface irregularities cannot mask or be confused with the image of any discontinuity on the resulting radiograph. Is it required that the butt wells are to be flush with the base material? The butt well joints may be flush with the base material or the reinforcement is allowed within the limit of referencing code with reasonably uniform grounds. Any reinforcement limitation is there as per this code? No. Reinforcement limits are to be as per the referencing code. The well reinforcement is a factor in the selection of IQI. So whether the surface of weld is flush with the base material or the availability of reinforcement as per the referencing code is an important factor. It is an important factor in the selection of IQI. T223 Backscatter Radiation A film should contain only the radiation from the source through the object. Backscatter radiation occurs when the radiation is reflected from the nearby surfaces or object and exposes the film. If we keep a lead letter on the back of film holder, the film will show that the film will show that letter if there is any radiation reflects back and exposes the film holder. For that, we use a lead symbol B with the minimum dimensions of half inch that is 13 mm in height and 1 by 16 inch that is 1.5 mm in thickness. B shall be attached to the back of each film holder during each exposure to determine if backscatter radiation is exposing the film. Note these points. Where it is to be placed on the film holder, the letter B where it is to be placed, it is to be placed on the back of film holder. Is it acceptable to keep it for one exposure of a joint? No, it is needed for each exposure and back of each film holder. For a pipe joint to be covered fully by rotographic examination, we have to do more than one exposure. So the letter B is to be kept on the back of each film holder on each exposure. In other ways, we can say that always B is needed on the back of each film holder. 284 Excessive Backscatter Here we have jumped from close T223 to close T284. Why? Because this will help you to cover all the topics of backscatter in Article 2. As we said, the backscatter is not acceptable in a radiography film. These are the conditions for accepting or rejecting when B is there on the film. First condition is light image of B on darker background of radiograph. That is not acceptable. That film is not acceptable. Dark image of B on a lighter background of radiograph. This image, this backscatter is not a cause for rejection. If there is other causes of rejection, it can be rejected like the sensitivity, density, and But the image of B, dark image of B on a lighter background of radiograph is not a cause of rejection. 
This is one of the questions often asked in exams and interviews. This can be remembered in this way. B relates to black. If B is black, the film is acceptable, otherwise rejectable. Mind is, this is just a suggestion to remember this point and there is no meaning for this concept. T224 System of Identification We have taken the radiography of so many joints. If there is no identification marks on the films, how can we correlate the film and joint? So, as per SME Section 5, a system shall be used to produce permanent identification on each radiograph traceable to the contract, the component, weld or weld seam or part numbers as appropriate, the organization symbol or name, the date of the radiograph. If we see in detail on a practical radiography point of view, the contract means the work order number or some naming convention for identification as agreed by the client or PMC and the contractor. This will serve the purpose. Why contract tracing is important? The same contractor may be working on different contracts on same projects or the same radiography agency is working on different contracts. So this identification will avoid such confusions. Instead of component and part numbers in piping, it is common to use the isometric line number and the joint number to identify the radiographed parts. The isometric joint can be referred to identify which are all the parts welded to that particular joint number. Instead of organization simple short form of organization's name or some related naming convention can serve the purpose as agreed between the client and the contractor. The date convention of DDMMYY that is first date next the month and the year or the first the month then next the date and the year whatever be shall be as agreed between the client and the contractor. The identifications shall be plainly and permanently included on the radiograph. This identification system does not necessarily require that the information appear as radiograph images and do not obscure the area of interest. There are some points underlined which are of importance in the sentence. It is a common practice to set all the above mentioned information as lead letters and keep it in front of the film holder so that all those information appears as images in the radiograph along with the well joint. The code is not making it mandatory to appear all these as permanent images. But for the easiness of identification and to avoid errors practically, all these informations are set as radiography images. Is it required that the butt wells are to be flush with the base material? The butt well joints may be flush with the base material or the reinforcement is allowed within the limit of referencing code with reasonably uniform grounds. Any reinforcement limitation is there as per this code? No. Reinforcement limits are to be as per the referencing code. The well reinforcement is a factor in the selection of IQI. So, whether the surface of weld is flush with the base material or the availability of reinforcement as per the referencing code is an important factor. It is an important factor in the selection of IQI. T222 Surface Preparation Materials including castings Surface preparation as per the referencing code requirement are to be done. T226 Extent of Examination The extent of radiographic examination shall be as specified by the referencing code section. That means whether all joints are to be radiographed or percentage radiography is accepted or a portion of the radiography of the joint is accepted etc has to be done as per the referencing code section. T231 Film Industrial radiography film is to be used for radiographic examination. The following are to be referred for radiographic examination and radiographic film processing. Standard gate for radiographic examination SE94 and Standard gate for controlling the quality of industrial radiographic film processing SE999. T232 
intensifying screens. Intensifying screens may be used when performing radiographic examination in accordance with this article. You can search on net about intensifying screens. P233 IQA design. IQA should be either hole type or wire type. The reference standards for those are for hole type SC1025 reference standard and for wire type SC747 is a reference standard. SME wire type IQAs are available in four sets set A, set B, set C, and set D. The identifications shall be plainly and permanently included on the radiograph. This identification system does not necessarily require that the information appear as radiograph images and do not obscure. Alternate IQA design. IQA is designed and manufactured in accordance with other national or international standards may be used provided the essential wire diameter as per this code should be able to meet by that IQA. The other international standards that are commonly used are one is an ISO standard penetrometer and otherwise it's a, it may be a DIN standard penetrometer. A wire diameter lesser than the essential wire diameter is also acceptable. Equivalent IQA sensitivity EPS is equal to or better than the required standard hole type IQA. IQA is an important part of radiography image. It determines the sensitivity of a radiographic image. Using correct IQA, selection of wire type IQA, selection of hole type IQA, comparison of ASTM and DIN set of wire type IQA, images of IQA are all in detail in my blog as separate articles. Please visit my blog www.harishkv.blogspot.com for reading those articles. You can visit my Facebook page engineer, Mechanical Construction Engineer for these topics and like that page for regular updates. 234. Facilities for viewing of radiographs. Viewing facilities shall provide subdued background lighting of an intensity that will not cause reflections shadows or glare on the radiograph that interfere with the interpretation process. Equipment used to view radiographs for interpretation shall provide a variable light source sufficient for the essential IQI hole or designated wire to be visible for the specified density range. The viewing conditions shall be such that light from around the outer edge of the radiograph or coming through low density portions of the radiograph does not interfere with interpretation. The radiography film viewer should have a facility to adjust the light intensity. How much light is needed for viewing a radiograph? The light intensity with adjustment is such that the designated wire in the radiograph is to be made visible. The light intensity is such that the designated wire as per this code, in the radiograph is to be made visible. Article 2 is a lengthy topic and cannot be accommodated in a single video. Further of this article 2 will be in the next videos. Those points which contains shall need to be noted as they are mandatory requirements as per the code. The condition of shall can be seen in all SME codes. As those mandatory requirements are to be complied during the execution